guys what's up i'm Ayana. welcome to my channel welcome back to another vlog i'm at home i'm in my closet but um we're starting the day on a monday it's like 4 p.m kind of later than what i wanted to start but it's okay my truck just got fixed so um i'm about to head out i'm heading to um Myrtle Beach, South Carolina, and then I'm dropping off in Wilmington, North Carolina. So it's two stops, which is fine. And I've um, got a whole bunch of Camrys and a Tacoma. And I am stopping in Florence, South Carolina for my hotel today. I'm just packing up my stuff. And um, yeah, let's get this show on the road. <laughs> Just finished loading. Let me show you my load. So we have Camrys and one Tacoma. I was supposed to have another Camry, but it wasn't at the location I was supposed to pick it up at. So I had to drop it. I got it. me some drinks and we're about to hit the road. I'm about to stop at my wonderful favorite hotel that doesn't have a refrigerator. <laughs> oh boy, hold on. This looks terrible, but you guys know how I just got my truck out of the shop, right? If I say that. Well, now <laughs> it smells like rotten eggs. And usually if it smells like rotten eggs, that means your batteries are kind of going, you know, bad. Usually that's what that means. And I'm thinking uh, they tried to jump my truck because they thought my truck was dead. But I had turned the battery switch off, and you're not supposed to do that here. I didn't know that. So they were jumping it, thinking it was dead. So I'm thinking when that all happened, it kind of messed with the batteries a little bit. I don't know. We're going to see if it goes away. If it doesn't, then, of course, I'll have to check it in back into the shop. But we don't want to do that. But, yeah, guys, let's hit this road. I don't need to get fuel anytime soon. It's going to take us about three, four hours to get to Florence. So... Um, yeah. Guys, what's up? <laughs> it's actually the next day. I've already delivered my first load to uh, Myrtle Beach. I'm in Wilmington, North Carolina. I'm about to deliver these cameras. And it is so freaking hot. I am like toasting right now. But um, yeah. Um, I'm trying to get a back call. My back call will probably be USPS fans. But if I don't hear anything from uh, dispatch or anything like that, then I'm just gonna go ahead and head back to Georgia and pick up a load then. So that's gonna be about a six hour drive, which is fine. I should have enough time. So I'm gonna go ahead and unload this. So let's go ahead and get to unloading. <laughs> back to Jacksonville, Florida because Georgia they don't really have a lot of loads coming out of there so I started deadhead all the way to Florida which is about 400 and something miles but that's okay because I'm hoping to get a big load 
I'm hoping they're going to take me to Tennessee and then I get a load from Tennessee and go back to Florida. Something, you know what I'm saying? Something. But um, today's a good day. My reset, my 10 hour break will be over around 4 in the morning. So, we're going to be leaving out of here at 4 in the morning. But today, now, if you're not new here, <laughs> you know how many weight loss journeys I failed and attempted. Well, if you're not new, you know, I recently lost, what, 23 pounds? Well, we're at 20 now. I gained a little few weight. I gained about three pounds. And I'm not mad about it. However, I'm trying to make sure we keep declining, okay? So, um, I'm going to start getting back into a, a workout routine. I want to work out when I get into my hotel room. So that's what I'm about to do. As soon as I change my clothes, I'm gonna work out. Then I'm gonna eat. I'm sorry, take a shower, eat, and go to bed and lay my head. Okay. <laughs> but today was a productive day for the most part. Kind of upset. Well, I'm not upset, but kind of bummed out. I wasn't able to get a back call, but it's okay. It is okay. So I just finished my workout. I'm tired. I'm so tired. But um. For dinner, <laughs> listen. <clears throat> I don't have that big much space in my truck to have a refrigerator, and I'm not gonna keep ordering food. So for dinner, we're having spaghetti and meatballs, ravioli. <laughs> but look, as long as I stay under my calories, I'm good. Okay. But um, yeah, I'm about to shower, about to eat, then I'm going to sleep. So um, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Y'all remember how I said this is my favorite place? No. Mm -mm. I ain't come, I'm not coming back here no more. Dude, I went to go use the bathroom and I'll put a towel on the floor when I get out the bathroom. Like the shower, so I don't have to step on the floor. Tell me why I go to use the bathroom. Right? It's, it's roaches. I ain't even brush my teeth. I ain't even wash my face. I'm not, I'm not going back in there. It's roaches. It's baby ones and it's big bitches in there. Oh my God, no, I'm getting dressed. I'm getting fucked. There's a pilot across the street. I'm finna go brush my teeth there. I'm gonna do my hair there and we out. Because no, mm -mm. that made no sense. I'm not even gonna turn the light off. Y'all don't even deserve me turning the lights off and saving your damn light bill. You just don't. This is fucking nasty, bro. Oh my God. <laughs> Oh my fucking god. Oh my fucking god. Oh my fucking god. Mm. I need to make sure it ain't no roaches in my damn bag. Oh my god. There's a fucking roach in the wall, bro. Oh my god. What the fuck, bro? What the fuck? Turn on water by my bag. No, no, sorry, Bob. No, sorry, fucking Bob, bro. Mm -mm. Nope. Not doing it. Not doing it. Come out here. Fuck it. Make sure I got everything. Yeah. I don't know if y'all can see that. But there goes a baby right here. And then there's some babies in there and some big bitches. They were the one crawling on the toilet. Nah, cuz. Mm -mm. Ain't no fucking way. I just wanted to let y'all know the room I was just in, there's a bad roach problem in there. Yeah, I don't know like, if they're crawling in from outside. Because I had one crawl 
Okay, I don't want to let y'all know. Um, 202. Yeah. All right, thank you. You too. It's a no for me, baby. It's a no for me. I ain't coming back. Nope. Thanks for the rewards, but I ain't coming back. Oh, they got it. Oh my god, guys, look! Cat. Oh my trailer! Oh my god! That is so cute! I'm not trying to get sprayed by these sprinklers. Hi, kitty! You're so pretty! <laughs> you just got sprayed. Hi, kitty! Oh my god! Y'all right! Oh, you a fat little baby. You are fat as hell, girl. You're so pretty! Oh, just me out. Hi, Mama. Oh, my God. Welcome to living out of a day cab with Ayana. Let me show you how I do it. Okay. So if we, <laughs> obviously if you're still watching, you know I sleep in a hotel every night, right? So obviously I have to bring clothes for the whole, for however long I plan to stay out. I've been to stay out for a good two, three weeks. And so, um, I don't know. I don't know when I'm coming home, but I brought enough a week's worth of clothes that I can wash, right? Obviously, I'm not going into the hotel with a week's worth of clothes, right? Right. So, let me show you how I do this. So, okay. being in a day cab can be very um tight. So, I have to do what I have to do with what I can. So, this is my suitcase that has all of my clothes. And then, this is the bag that I take into the hotel. So, and then I keep my dirty clothes in a trash bag behind my seat. And then under my suitcase is like all my groceries and stuff. Yeah. Um, yeah. I'm going to pick out my outfit and put it in here. And bada boom, bada bing. As far as food goes, I'm not trying to spend much money on ordering food anymore. On top of that, I'm trying to eat less calories so that I can drop some weight. I'm not really focused on what I'm eating. I'm just focused on how much I'm eating because it's kind of, you know, it, it is what it is. But I have my snack box here, okay? So I usually pick one snack. One snack. I got some Oreo cake stirs. Put that in my purse. I get a fork and a spoon. And then, hold on. I cool her up. This is mainly stuff that I snack on while I'm driving, like apples and oranges. But I always eat a yogurt when I'm eating dinner now. I need to stock up. So, yeah. Load right here. We're taking it to Tennessee. And it is paying $2,668. And obviously, I get 26% of that. But, um, yeah, we got two stops. All of this, except for that one, is um, going to a stop. And then that one's going to another stop. 
but yeah, this is what I loaded today. Look at all this. It is hot as Satan's balls outside. My God. With pubic hair. What's the hair? Matter of fact, Satan got fucking crabs. That's how hot it is. It is so hot. Oh my gosh. Like when I was loading earlier today, it was taking me a minute. Because I was sweating so much and I could just feel my body getting exhausted. So... You definitely want to stay hydrated. I gotta get, I gotta stock up on some Gatorade. Gotta replenish those electric lights. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, let me go ahead and get in my room. I'm at a day's in. I've been to this place before. It's pretty decent. Definitely gonna make sure they don't want to roach it. So okay. <laughs> I'm just saying. But yeah, I'll check in with y'all. Let's do an inspection because I ain't dealing with no roaches. I'm not, I'm not dealing with no roaches, no bed bugs, no fruit flies, no none of that. No none of that. Now, I always, I always shake a bed. Because one thing I'm not finna do, I'm not finna bring no bed bugs in my truck. I'm not finna bring no bed bugs to my house. No man, no sir. Um, whew, I have a long drive tomorrow. I have about 500 and something, or 400 and something miles left. And um, then hopefully I can drop this load tomorrow. I might not have enough time, but we're going to try, okay? But, um, yeah. I'll see y'all tomorrow. I'm about to work out. I got a goal of losing 25 pounds by October 1st. I think I can do it. I think I can do it. Let's stay consistent. This is day two of my workout program, and I'm already sore. I'm sore. On top of um, the work that I already do, that's extra, extra fat burning power, okay? <laughs> but yeah, I'll check in with y'all tomorrow. Hey guys, what is up? What's poppin'? If you, I'm sorry if it's so noisy.
Crazy, I look as always. I'm so tired, I'm so beat. But, um, first of all, I'm at a Best Western, it's whatever. It smells like old band balls and beer. That's what it smells like. But I'm so tired, and I don't even feel like working out. But I'm gonna work out, gotta do this. Child, anyways. Gotta do it for me, baby. Gotta do it for me. Let me show y'all something. So my truck is right there, right? I was about to park it over there on that gravel lot, but I was trying to do a U-turn, and then U-turn I had to go in the grass, and your girl got stuck. Luckily, I put on, I think it's called my inner axle lock or whatever, and I spun it right out of there, and I was like, yep, I'm not parking over there. Nope, mm-mm. Over there, it will be. But yeah, so tomorrow or tonight, I'm waking up at 12 or 1. I'm heading out early tonight. Um, I'm going to Princeton, which is about Indiana, which is about two hours away from where I'm at right now. And I'm picking up a load of, it has seven units. I'm taking it to Johnson City, Tennessee. And this load, I'm a little scared of it simply because I don't like loading big units. I just don't. And I got, I had a choice. So the three loads that I was offered, they all had big stuff on there. And I'm like, look, I ain't finna load nine big, 
bitches. I'm just not. I'm just not. I don't want to unless I have to. I, I don't have those skills yet. When I'm ready to step out and get those skills and learn how to finagle it, then I will. Matter of fact, the minute this, this company gives me an 80 footer, yeah, yeah. The minute they give me an 80 foot truck, yeah, I'll take those loads. I'll take them. But y'all gave me the 75 foot, so I'm gonna take what I want, what I can. Okay, but this load has, um, it has three Tundras, three Toyota Tundras, um, a Tacoma, two Highlanders, and a minivan. So I kind of played it out how I want to load it. Typically, when you load in your truck, it really just comes down to a puzzle. What can fit, okay? And because I have a 75 foot, that's five feet that I'm not used to. Because when I was at Carvana, I was always loading 80 foot, 80 foot trucks. So I had all the space in the world, and I'm sitting here trying to load a 75 foot truck like it's an 80 footer, and I can't do that. I just, I have to, I can't do that. So that's, that's is what I'm adapting to right now. But once I get it loaded, once we head out, I'll show y'all how I'm going to do it. All right. But I'm about to do a workout. Um, today is nothing different as far as food goes. We got, first of all, this right here, let me put y'all on. Lime chili with shrimp. Matter of fact, any noodles that you make, add lime juice. It is so good. Add some lime juice. But yeah, we're eating that. I got some watermelon. There's a Walmart literally like right across the street and I was gonna stop there and go go shopping, but I only had about 14 minutes on my 14 hour clock, so no. Okay, and then we're eating these apples and an Oreo cakester. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, that's just about it. And I got a drink from Pilot. I really wanted a soda. I got a big soda. I don't know. I don't know when my addiction to soda is going to stop. But it doesn't look like anytime soon. But again, I'm going to work out and I'll catch you guys later. Hey, y'all. Good morning. It is, um... It's Saturday. Okay, I had to like what? What's what's today? Um, I actually it's like four thirty in the morning, y'all. I overslept like a mother trucker because I was supposed to be out of here at one o'clock in the morning. My alarm. I thought I set my alarm. The mother trucker wasn't even set. It was set, but it wasn't turned on. I'm like, dude. Okay, whatever. So. Yeah, <laughs> I have a load on me. I didn't show you guys this load yet. I actually got really frustrated with this load because it's a lot of big stuff. Um, the way that I loaded my truck, it was just, it was just, it was too high. I the my height on the truck was fourteen six. So I had I originally originally had seven units, but I had to drop one so I can get my height down because who the hell finna ride around at 14.6? Maybe we gonna hit a bridge somewhere. Somewhere we're gonna hit a bridge. And I need to change my head wrap. I've been wearing the same one. I have another one, but I just haven't brought it out. It's in my damn today. But yeah. Um, that's the plan. So we're gonna drop this load. We are in Tennessee. We're about two out. I'm sorry, we're in Kentucky. We're about two hours from Johnson City, Tennessee. That's where I'm dropping it at. And then we're heading back to Commerce, Georgia. We're going to pick up a load, and then we're going to go home. And, uh, yeah. I got a date night tonight, period. Um, me and Johnny are celebrating two years together. Oh, my God. It feels like it's been longer. I'm not going to hold you. It feels like it's been a lot longer. But, um, yeah. Our relationship was just, it was stressful. It was stressful at first, but 
we're in there now, you know what I'm saying? We're in there. A, stick with it. You're in a relationship and you have faith, but it ain't going too, too good. Stick in there. It'll work eventually. From experience. <laughs> I'm at this uh, Best Western. It's like one of those Best Westerns that have like an outside entrance. You know, and it just... It's okay. It just smells like smoke. I ain't coming to you no more. Hotel number two. I ain't coming back here no more. And that's on who? That's on Marianne. That's on period. That's on all of it. Truck to the plane, to the truck, truck to the hotel lobby. Me, I go through underground garages, presidential suites on the closet, elevator up to the room, shower up and then we hit the club. Touchdown, gotta see what's up. Area code in my phone. What numbers do I still have? Who do I know from the past? Hit one, she say she got a man. Hit another one, it goes green. Must have changed foes on the team. Remember when you let me in between? That was 2017. All good, chuck to look around. Find one to see my type. Now my dog and he know what I like. He hey guys, what's up? I'm at my destination. Um, I wanted to show you guys the load before I start unloading. It is like, it's almost 8 a.m. They don't open till 9. So, perfect timing. So, this is my load. We got a Tacoma, three Tundras, a minivan, and a sand, and a Highlander. I had a, another Highlander right there, but the height was like 14.6, so I had to drop it. But what I should have did was, I should have put a Tundra on one and put the Tacoma back here. That would have uh, that would have helped a lot, but I'm going to unload now. So let's get busy.